So I'm joined by Lampard Town Manager Neil Fenn after a fantastic scoreless result away to uh, Galway United in the first division at Eamon DC Park. Neil, you must be delighted with that performance despite the missed chances in the second half. Yep, um, couldn't ask more of the players. We asked them at the start of the, at the, start of the game to give us all they got um, and to keep a clean sheet and put on a professional performance and I think we got all of those. Um, if we had a little bit of, a little bit of rubber green, um, took a couple of chances, we would have won the game. So a little, a little bit disappointed in that, but um, you know, have, have to be happy with the draw. You came into this one, obviously, Barrow the Midlands Derby off the back of an away defeat uh, to Shelburne, so you must be delighted to get back on uh, track away from home against a side that's probably going to be right up there at the end of the season, and also the fact you were missing a couple of key players going into this one, so again, you must be delighted with the performance from your players. Yeah, we had a couple of a couple of injuries to, to key players and, and a suspension, so, you know, we're, we, we're disappointed we didn't win tonight. On the performance, if you'd have said before the game you'll, you'll get a draw, then maybe we would have took it but if you look at the performance and, and the chances we had compared to their chances um, I think that we were unlucky tonight. With injured players there's always the opportunity for younger players to come into the side and tonight Aid Irvin the local man absolutely fantastic performance. Aid was brilliant Aid was really, that's exactly what you want from a midfielder the energy the ground he covers the, the quality he has on the ball um, he was brilliant and he, and he, and he it ignites everyone else. He gets everyone else going as well with his energy and his exuberance. So he was absolutely brilliant. We spoke before. You said you were slightly concerned with the defensive frailties early on in the season. Playing a side tonight that uh, contained Danny Furlong, six goals already this season, a creative force like Brian Connolly in midfield, and really, in all truth, Galway created very, very little on the night. Again, defensively, uh, you must be the light for your side. Yeah, we, we obviously knew we had to shore it up a little bit. I think we've been a little bit unlucky with the goals we conceded. Um, if you look at two of them with penalties and, and stuff like that. So, you know, we, we wanted to keep it tight at the back. If you, if you keep it tight at the back, then you've got half a chance going forward. Um, and you're hoping for a little bit of luck and you're hoping that something goes, bounces the right way or you take a chance. We didn't take chances tonight. We didn't go our way, but we kept to clean sheets and got something out of the game. Busy week ahead for the town. Trip to Tala on uh, Monday in the EA Sports Cup before uh, obviously a huge league game against Cavantini at home on Saturday. Will you be looking to rotate the squad for those two games? Um, we'd be looking to probably, we haven't really got that many players to rotate anymore, but no, we'd be looking to make a few changes. We have to. Um, there's lads who, who, have been, who deserve a game now, um, who haven't played for the last few games, they'll play. Um, and then we've got a big game against Cavatini, like you say, who had a good result tonight against Jalala. So, you know, that'll be a tough one as well. So the games keep coming thick and fast, and the opposition are, are, are good. There's no easy game. So look, we'll just continue to, to do what we're doing uh, and we'll improve every game. And you must be looking forward to going back to your former club, Shamrock Rovers, of course. Yeah, meeting up with, um, seeing a few lads, Brighton and Glenn Cronin will be good. But, you know, it's not about going back to the club. We just need to get a result. And uh, finally, Neil, fantastic away support here tonight in the MDC Park. I'm, I'm sure you're looking for those supporters to come out in force for that home game against Cabin and get, get behind the side vocally. Oh, no, brilliant tonight. Absolutely fantastic. You could hear it from where we were. Um, it's just great to have that kind of support. It spurs the lads on. And um, hopefully a few make the trip to Tallinn. That would be great. Neil, fantastic. Thanks very much.